Uh, this is a, a question about getting to know a woman and what kind of steps should you take to get to know that woman. If a young woman makes a good impression on a young man, okay, so now you just got an impression, but he barely knows her and he's not certain that asking about courtship is appropriate, what should he do to get to know her better? Aside from learning, he should have engaged more initially. This is kind of a complex question. So he, the guy knows he should have gotten to know her a little bit better initially. Seek courtship anyway, friend on Facebook. Seek to visit her church, a, a conference she's likely to attend, or only pray and happen to run into her again. At that point, talk a bit more. Isn't that hilarious? That's the way it goes, doesn't it, bro brothers? <laughs> I like that question. Yeah, it's a great, it's, there's, there's a lot of sides to it. So, hey, uh, be together in groups as much as you can, uh, where you can observe, get to know better, but it, you don't have to be that obvious about it. Uh, if, if you're still at home, if you're still, or, or if you're not at home, but you still do a lot with your family, uh, let your family help. Do things as families. And maybe not just two families, again, because be before you're really ready to pursue, when you're just still wanting to know if you want to pursue, you don't want it to be that obvious, so you might involve a third family. Uh, groups are good. It gives you the opportunity to observe and interact. Um, hey, if, if we'll cultivate lives that are like this, where we like to be around other people, other families, it doesn't have to be one-on-one. -on -one. We don't even really necessarily want it to be one-on-one. -on -one. We want to be together, uh, then we can get to know each other, not just one person, but multiple people in a natural setting before we get so far down the track and now we're feeling predatory. When, when uh, Scott said pray, I thought, was that spelled P-R-A-Y or P-R-E-Y, you know? Uh, the, the, cultivate a life where this can be done naturally so you don't have to P-R-E-Y, you know? It's not predatory like, hey, could, just the two of us go out to coffee. It's not that that's inappropriate, uh, depending on the setting that you're in, but it does raise the stakes. When you're together in a group, it can be lower key, and you can actually decide whether you want to take a more significant step. Yeah, I would say This is, this is really far in front of seeking a, some kind of a courtship. No courtships on this basis of just, hey. Good first impression. She's, she's awesome. That's a bad way to go ahead, you know. Uh, this is how Hollywood does it. You know, you're walking through the hallway and you drop your books and you bump into this and you look in each other's eyes and you just know, you know. That's ridiculous. Because that's not how love works. Love, that's not love. So I would say find ways to get to know the girl. You know, the best way is to be in a local church because you're, you're living life together. In our church, we, we eat lunch 52 Sundays a week. And I, 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 want, I want young people to be talking to each other. And... and, and What's that? As you said, a week, 52 Sundays a week. Oh, there you go. A year. A year. Thank you very much. Yeah. Um, so uh, lo local church life is, is, the, is really the best place. And I know that's not possible in every kind of situation. But I, I'm, I'm, not a, I'm not a big advocate of jumping into courtships. I'm a big advocate of getting to know each other. 
for a while. Um, you know, some people go into courtships in ways that they would never buy a car. You know, so you you have to do you have to do a lot more to get a loan on a house, you know, than some of these courtships. So I would just say take time, get to know the girl, and uh, you know don't be awkward. Be a Christian, and you know run through the right channels. You know you're going to need to talk to her father and ask her ask him if it's okay. Um, it might or might not be okay. That's a that's a gatekeeper. You gotta engage first, <clears throat> and then figure out, you know, how to how to engage that. I got a feeling that this is a real life question. That one of you, you did this. <laughs> you blew it. <laughs> uh, so learn from your mistake. You know, you blew it. You should have talked to her more. I would probably give up on that one and and um, and just uh, you make sure you're more intentional the next time you you see someone. And I mean, I'm just thinking if that's my son and he's coming up to me and say, "Hey, Dad, I mean, I was at this conference and man, that was a pretty girl, and she looked like she was a Christian, you know, and boy, she was pretty. Um, but I didn't talk to her, and now she's gone." Like, and now I'm in love with her. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I would be like, okay, son, um, you know, that happens. Uh, next time you see a pretty girl and you like her, you know, you've you're, you know, you're, you're got that initial interest, you know, go introduce yourself, you know. And, I mean, you've got to be a man and take initiative, you know, and go, hey, my name is Jeff Johnson. What's your name? And it's good to meet you. Where are you from? What, what church you go to? Just, I mean, that doesn't mean you're going to start courting her. Just... Take initiative uh, and learn from your mistake. And, you know, I don't know if you should follow her on Facebook. That might look odd if you never had a conversation with her. That's creepy. So just <laughs> learn from your mistake. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, and I agree with this. You know, you, the, the problem we have as Christians under the marriage, courtship model, dating model, you know, like kissing, dating, goodbye, all this, is like when I was dating, I, w I dated. And then I realized this is wrong. Uh, I come from a real Christian background, but we didn't have this. You know, I just dated since I was 14 years old. Uh, I don't know why my parents allowed that, but I did. And, and then, you know, and then I got into the ministry and I was pastoring and then a single pastor. And it's like, I need to get married. So we went to the courtship model. And this one girl that I liked, it, it was amazing. I was like, I'd like to get to know her. So I talked to her dad. I was like, you care if I get to know your daughter? And he goes, yeah, sure. Well, within two weeks, he had me marrying her. And I'm like, what in the world? I, I don't know her. So we got on one visit, and I realized that this woman can't hold a conversation. I, I can't, like, I don't like this woman. She, she can't even, I can't sit around and talk to her. She's, she's mute, you know. <laughs> and um, a great girl and all, but it's like, I, I don't, can't see myself married to her. Like, how do I, I don't even think we're friends. And, <laughs> and so I, I, it's like, but we're already married in her father's eyes. And, and so I was like, this is just, it's hard. It's hard. Uh, I don't know if there's a, uh, I know God has to be involved, and yet there needs to be. Uh, 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 but anyway, uh, you take, an, take, an, take initiative. If you see someone that, that's, like at this conference, don't blow it. Yeah, don't go and say, oh, I should have talked to her. I should have said, hey, what's your name? <laughs> you might blow it right there by doing it like that. But, you know, <laughs> yeah, don't be so bashful, you know. Don't, don't be so uptight. I, I'll just say it again. Just act like a Christian. Christians are interested in each other. I don't care who I'm talking to. I'm going to say, hey, where are you from? You know, what, what have you been doing? What, what do you what, what, what do you, where do you work? You know, what, what's happening in your life? What, tell me about your family. Tell me about your city. Tell, tell me about your church, you know. You know, a practical help. All these girls that are around here, they usually are next to another girl. So you don't have to just, just talk, hey, where are you from? Where are you from? Where are you from? But just make it natural. You know, talk to all of them and, and build relationships and get to know people and, 
And um, that's all you have to do is just get to know, know the ladies in a very unthreatening way. Just be, 